Let's do another example where we balance a tabletop on two fulcrums. And we'll use a spring scale so those fulcrums so they can measure the weight of what's uh, pressing down on them. In the real world, tabletops have uh, mass to them as well. So we're going to try to incorporate that now as well. We're going to say that we put a block of mass, capital M, uh, approximately a quarter of the way across the table. And we have these scales balancing the table on either end. And the table itself has a mass. It has a mass little m. So what the, the question is, what would the scales read? If uh, every, there was no mass capital M, you could imagine that each of the, mass, the scales would read half of little m as they're reading. But they won't in this case. For equilibrium, we have to have the sum of the forces equal to 0. And we have to have the sum of the torques equal to 0. For simplicity, we're going to use the pivot point as being uh, the right-hand scale. But we'll come to that in just a moment. Using the first equation, the sum of forces, then we say, well, there are a couple forces pushing up. That's from the scales. And there are a couple forces pulling down. That's the weight of gravity. So the sum of the forces in the vertical direction are the left force plus the right force minus capital MG minus little mg. And all that has to equal 0 because we're in equilibrium. Nothing's going to start moving. So we can shift things around here and get F sub L plus F sub right R equals the sum of the masses times G. The second point, uh, the second equation there, we're going to again say that the, the left scale is our pivot point, And we're going to write all the torques around that location. So the sum of the torques is going to equal the left force times 0, because the radius vector away from the left scale is 0 in length, plus the length L, which is the length of this tabletop, times the right-hand force, minus the torque coming from the force of gravity pulling down on the table itself. So remember that these are going to, these are going to each have directions to them. I took the scale uh, F and it's pushing up on uh, the tabletop with force F for R as being p a positive torque. In other words, if I go from the left scale over to that um, right-hand scale, that's an R vector that points over to the right. The F sub R points up, and if I curl my fingers, that torque right here, uh, F sub R times L, that points out of the page. The gravitational force acting downward on the table, uh, which force little mg, is going to be into the page because the radial vector points from here over to the middle of the table and my fingers curl down instead of up and now my thumb points into the page. So that's a minus sign. There's also a negative or inward uh, pointing torque from the block that's sitting on the table, capital MG, uh, and it's only a distance L over 4 away from the fulcrum point. The sum of all these torques has to equal 0. So that allows me to, to solve for what F sub R is in terms of these other things. So if I combine some results here, F sub R equals a quarter capital MG plus a half little mg, or a quarter times the sum capital M plus little, 2 times little m times g. And I know that the sum of the two forces has to equal the sum of these two masses times g, so I can also solve then for what F sub L it will be. F sub L will equal minus F sub R plus the sum of the, the masses times G, or a quarter times 3 capital M plus 2 little m times G. And that allows us to solve for everything we wanted to know. Now we know what the two scales read. And indeed, if there was no mass sitting on the table, in other words, capital M was 0, notice that both FR and FL would just read half times little mg, which you expect.